Class 5, I am move level 2. Mathematics question number 1. Which of the following options makes the given expression true? This is the first equation's answer. And this is the second equation's answer. The second equation is less than the first equation. So, the symbol we have to put here is greater than symbol. Mathematics question number 2. They have given an abacus and they have told to subtract. First, we will find the numbers in the abacus. After finding the numbers, we have to subtract, which will give us 1,11,978. Mathematics question number 3. How many of the given figures have acute angle? The first one is acute angle. The fourth one is acute angle. And the sixth one is an acute angle. So there are three acute angles. Mathematics question number four. What is the minimum number of squares that must be added in the given figure so that PQ becomes a line of symmetry? In order to make this part symmetrical, there has to be one square to be added. Here, another square has to be added. This is fine. Here, we have to add another square. Here, we have to add another square. Here also, we have to add another square. Here and here, we have to add another square, which totals to 7. So, 7 squares must be added. Mathematics question number 5. Select the correct match. B is the correct match. Mathematics question number 6. Which of the following figure shows the 3 1 by 4 clockwise rotation of the given figure. If we do 1 fill turn, the figure will come to its original position. So 3 fill turns is equal to the original position. So the one we need to see here is 1 by 4. If we do the 1 by 4 rotation, we will get A option. Mathematics question number 7. Which of the following numbers are arranged in ascending order? In option A, 0 0.06 is smaller than 0 0.5. So this option is wrong because they have asked ascending order. B option, 3.52 is smaller than 4.02. So this is also wrong because they have asked ascending order. In C option, numbers are arranged in correct ascending order. This option is correct. Mathematics question number 8. Find the difference between the greatest and smallest 7-digit number formed by using the digits 2, 1, 0, 3, 5. Each digit should be used at least once. The greatest 7-digit number formed from the number is 5553210. 5, 5, 5, and the smallest 7-digit number formed by the numbers is 1000235. 0, 0, 0, 5. And the difference between the greatest and smallest 7-digit number formed from the digits is 4552975. That is the B option. Mathematics question number 9. Find the area of the given figure, not drawn to scale. First, we can divide this into squares and rectangles. As we can see, there are two rectangles and two squares. Now, we are going to find each rectangle and square's sides. They have asked to find the area of the given figure. Area of the given figure is equal to 245 square centimeter. Mathematics question number 10. Davi works 32 hours in 5 days from Monday to Friday. She worked 4 1 by 2 hours on Monday, 8 hours on Tuesday and 3 1 by 2 hours on Wednesday. How many hours did she work on Thursday and Friday together? Total hours Davi worked from Monday to Friday is equal to 32 hours. Given 4 1 by 2 plus 8 plus 3 1 by 2 is e plus Thursday's time plus Friday time is equal to 32 hours. 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 whole. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 and plus the whole is equal to 8. So 8 plus 8 is equal to 16. 16 plus Thursday time plus Friday time is equal to 32 hours. In order to find how many hours she worked on Thursday and Friday, we have to subtract Monday hours, Tuesday hours and Wednesday hours. From total hours to 16 hours, she worked 16 hours Thursday and Friday. Mathematics question number 11. The temperature outside the room is 19 degree less than the temperature inside the room. If the temperature inside the room is shown here, then find the temperature outside the room. As we can see here, the temperature shown here is 26 degrees Celsius. 
So, therefore, temperature outside the room is equal to 26 degrees Celsius minus 19 degrees Celsius, which is equal to 7 degrees Celsius. Mathematics question number 12. A tea plucker plucked tea leaves on three su successive days. If he plucked this many tea leaves on Monday and this many tea leaves on Tuesday and this many tea leaves on Wednesday, then how many tea leaves were plucked in during all three days? In order to find this, we have to add all the three days. Adding this, we get 6,48,120. Mathematics question number 13. A fitness club advises every person to drink 3 1 by 4 liter of water in the morning, 1 1 by 2 liter of water in the afternoon, and 3 by 4 liters of water before going to bed. How much should a person drink during the day according to the fitness club? Water to drink in the morning is equal to 3 1 by 4 liters. Water to be drank in the afternoon is equal to 1 1 by 2 liters. And water to be drank during bedtime 3 by 4 liters. So, in order to find the total amount of water a person should take, we have to add all these. 3 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 4. Because 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is equal to 1 whole. And 3 plus 1 whole is equal to 4. And 4 plus 1, 1 by 2 is equal to 5, 1 by 2. So the answer is C. Mathematics question number 14. Mathematics question number 14. Shruti, Kirti and Priya have 10,250 rupees altogether. If Shruti has 1,100 less than Kirti and Kirti has 1,400 more than Priya, then how much money will Shruti have? Total amount Shruti, Kirti and Priya have is equal to 10,250 rupees. Let the amount Priya have is equal to rupees A. And then amount Kirti had is equal to rupees A plus 1,400. Amount with Shruti is equal to Kirti's amount minus 1,100 which is equal to rupees A plus 300. Substituting the amount in equation 1, we get... A is equal to 2850. So amount with Shruti is equal to 2850 rupees plus rupees 300 which is equal to 3150 rupees. That's the C option. Mathematics question number 15. The difference between these two numbers rounded off to the nearest thousand is. The difference between these two numbers is equal to 11125. And then rounded off to the nearest thousands we will get. 11,000. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. 